Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. And my name is Joe Reynolds. It is a brand new week here at Crafters TV, and boy, is there some exciting stuff uh, coming your way. There is absolutely loads uh, on the way this week, and we thought we'd kick it all off with a masterclass. We know how much you guys absolutely adore the masterclass. Masterclass is all about us really taking it back on and sort of concentrating on uh, one product, but really showing you as many different uh, techniques and ways of using it uh, as we uh, possibly can. Can. Now, when we put these shows together, we do masterclasses with things that we think you are already going to own. Let's face it, Sparklinks, so many of you uh, have uh, all of our um, Sparklinks. Loads of you uh, went for them when, uh, during our Colour Me Happy show on Friday. Last Tuesday in launch party, we launched the brand new Sparklinks, which loads of you went through uh, one for as well. So we're thinking that a lot of you already have these. If you don't, then don't worry. We've totally got you covered. Uh, we've got loads of uh, the great deals coming up in this show for you, but it really is all about uh, the techniques. It is also double discount week here on Crafters TV as well. So basically, I'll tell you as we go through uh, the extra discounts uh, that we will be giving you as we go through as well. So uh, we are really trying to uh, look after you here. It's going to run all the way through the week, so uh, definitely uh, get yourself stocked up. Now, I'm not here on my own. Uh, what better way to kick the week off than with the lovely Leanne? How are you, Leanne? Well, I'm glorious today. I think it's a bit of a Monday. Monday today, Joe. It is, isn't I'm it? I'm running around. I'm flapping my wings. I'm trying to get everything ready. Um, it definitely feels like that song from the 60s, Monday, Monday, today. However, it is a gloriously sparkly Monday because we've got these amazing new inks. We've got some of my favourite dyes from the last 12 months. Um, and this is the first time I'm getting to do any live demonstrations with them. So I'm very excited about that because they're ridiculously versatile. Uh, and I'm just really looking forward to having a crafty couple of hours, Joe. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely uh, fantastic. If you think that I'm, uh, well, hang on, you can hear me twice now. That's never a good thing, is it? If you get on my phone just texting today, I'm actually looking at the comments on my phone uh, today. So I'm not texting my mum or uh, doing my weekly shop or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be an absolutely uh, fabulous uh, show today. Uh, I was going to show you some beautiful samples, but do you know what? I'll let Leanne do it because Leanne's going to tell us uh, all about the things that she's going to be creating for us in this show. Um, we have got a beautiful new range of sparkle inks. And Joe, exciting news just in, I've got a new sparkle detector. <gasps> what? Look at Where did this. you get this from? Look at this sparkle detector. <gasps> Look at the spark. Hang on. There we go. You can see that sparkle there. Are you excited? So excited. Oh, Joe will have sparkle detector envy. <laughs> um, and we've got these amazing silhouette stamps. We've got these beautiful sparkle inks that you can see here. And then here, look at this. I mean, seriously, guys. Do you not want to make, look at that. Do you not want to be able to use beautiful outline dies like this with your sparkle inks to get these kinds of glorious techniques that you can see here? It's just going to be fantastic, really it is. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to use all of these things together and get amazing results. Oh, I can't wait to see uh, all of those great techniques in the show. Uh, loads of you are uh, already saying hello. Uh, I'm monitoring uh, the conversation over on the Crafters TV Facebook page. So that's where you'll need to be uh, looking at that live there. Uh, Helen says, good morning from sunny Ipswich. I can see Ellen is in. Uh, Teresa is in as well from Norwich. Melissa's here. Malia uh, is in Hawaii, which is lovely. Uh, and uh, all of uh, lots of our lovely regulars uh, there as well. Right, uh, Leanne is limbering up for her first demonstration. So while she does that, I thought I'd take you through uh, what we have for you on the show today. So first up, uh, we've got the Sparkling and Stamp Collection for you. And now we only launched this uh, on Tuesday. Uh, and I know a lot of you got it, so that's why we decided we'd do a masterclass on it pretty much immediately. Three brand new sets of um, sparkle inks within here as well. So you're going to get uh, the Enchanted Hues, which are uh, brand new colours for you. Uh, you've also then got in here the Majestic Tones and you've got the Forest Glade too. And what we've done is uh, developed a range of stamps that are going to go beautifully uh, with your sparkle inks. Of course, if you don't own sparkle inks, you're going to be able to use these uh, across all of your different sort of, uh, in the same way you do with all of your other stamps. But if you do want to use these with sparkle inks, they are going to be absolutely uh, perfect. Already very busy. 
on this, uh, 10% uh, of the stock is already on here just on preview alone. But you can see then you've got the deers in here as well. Uh, you've got a good snapshot of all of the different um, stamp collections that you've got here. That beautiful uh, butterfly one. <clears throat> these are all the new colours as well. Uh, they're being used to colour these up. We've got the beautiful flamingo here. Wonderful if you want to do some fussy cutting. Uh, you've got the mermaid there. Great for uh, a shaker card as well. They're really usable, really craftable. And the colours are absolutely beautiful and again the thing is because of uh, the uh, the makeup of our sparklings you can still do all of those amazing uh, techniques that you guys know and love as well so 63 pounds 85 dollars uh, if you want to go for them all the sparklings are available individually as well if you'd like to go for those details are uh, across the bottom of your screen right now now let's move on because these are absolutely uh, gorgeous these are our gemini decorative outline stamp and dies uh, this one here uh, is the hummingbird uh, firstly now they're in two sets so the hummingbird uh, comes with the pretty florals which is this one sorry pretty petals which is this one here now double discount so with this product with these uh, the individuals firstly now they should have been <clears throat> today uh, they should have been uh, 39.98 the original price was going to be on this show 27.99, but we're going to give you an extra 15% off as your double discount price, taking it down to 23.78 if you want to get uh, these two, which is great. So you've got your uh, die in there, which is going to give you all of this outline detail. Wonderful for paper piecing. You've also got a stamp in here as well, which you can stamp up with that too. And you've got that gorgeous hummingbird in there. So that is the first one. Now we also have uh, three other options. So the next one we've got for you is the butterfly option. In here you're going to get the butterfly garden. You can see there just all of that lovely detail you've got. Uh, and then you've got dancing butterflies as well, which is this one just here. Uh, there is another option for you too, which, can, which has uh, the little birdie and it has also uh, in full bloom in there. Um, I don't have that one. The one I've got here, I'll show you some other samples in just a moment, is I've got the beautiful bees here, and I've also got uh, the in full bloom. Uh, so the uh, little birdie comes with a full bloom, and the bees is also coming along uh, with a sweet succulent as well. Now, if you want to get the whole collection, you get all eight of those stamp die, stamps and dies. That's the best way of getting the best value, because when you do that, uh, it is again a double discount for you. So originally today, the price was going to be 111 uh, 94 but we've taken we did a 30% discount and then we've done an extra 30% discount uh, as well taking it all the way down to 89.55 $111.77 uh, is what you'll be paying there as well everyone gets free postage and packaging and free shipping and handling uh, when they order it like this and also you can uh, don't forget you can use uh, all of your club inspired discount uh, within there as well right loads coming up uh, in the show today loads of you still commenting along don't uh, forget as well if you want to send us in some pictures of what you've been creating with your sparklings we would love to see them uh, as well uh, you can do that by emailing studio at craftscompanion.co.uk that's where you need to send uh, all of those into right for now i'm going to hand you over to leanne because i know you're ready to show us loads this morning aren't you leanne Oh, I can't wait. I adore these stamps and sparkle inks are whew, one of my very favourite colouring mediums to use because we all need a little bit of sparkle in our lives. And if we're a crafter, we don't need a little bit of sparkle, we need a lot of sparkle. And these do deliver serious bang for your book. Now, when you open these up, you're going to get them in your three pots like this, in your three sets of colour family. So the colours are going to come as this all worked out in the beautiful combinations that you need. Now, when you get them home um, and you take them out the packet, it's going to look like this on the bottom. And that's because all of the beautiful glitter has sunk to the bottom of the liquid because it's heavier than the liquid it's suspended in. You can see the gorgeous colour palette and um, really gorgeous. But what you need to do now is a little sparkle workout um, and give them a good old shake to get that glitter all mixed up. Now, you'll be able to hear as I'm doing this that um, you can hear those little ball bearings rattling around inside. Each of the pots has a set of little ball bearings in there and they will rattle around, hit all of the surfaces as you give your pots a good shake. And then when you check back, you can see that the bottoms of the pots have changed and all of the glitter is now swirled and mixed inside. So that's what you're going to do. Now then what you're going to do all of the time 
that you're using them is keep doing that swirling. You're going to keep um, mixing them round and you're going to keep the glitter beautifully suspended in um, this fabulous solution that we've got here. And that's going to make it uh, really easy for you to use. So now I've shook them all up and then I've got my little pipette here, which I'll keep giving them a stir with because I have still forgotten to bring my cocktail sticks in with me. I'm going to have to write it in sparkle ink all up my arm so that I remember to bring them the next time. It really, I don't know why I keep forgetting, but I do. So what I've got pre-prepared for you, I've got my sparkle inks and I'm going to use a couple of sparkle inks from different sets. I'm going to use a purple and I'm going to use a pink and I'm going to use a yellow. Um, and then I'm going to uh, make a beautiful sunset with my sparkle inks and these. And this is using them in one of the easiest ways, which is just painting the ink on there to get a nice ombre jaw. What I've done is stamp this up with my Finesse Waterproof Dye Ink and my stamping platform, these fabulous flamingo stamps that come in, in the bundle in the collection. And I've just arranged them with the palm tree, the flamingo and a little sentiment ready to make a card front. Okay. Uh, Stacey is uh, a question over on Facebook. Says, which can you shake and which do you show swirl? She doesn't want to swirl a shaker or shake a swirl, Leanne. Shake a sparkle, swirl a metallic. Okay, don't. There you go. There you are. Shake a sparkle, swirl a metallic. Um, if you shake the metallic, it gets too frothy and foamy, and you can't get a nice distribution of the metallic in the ink. So if you've got the metallic inks swirl them if you've got your sparkles shake the life out of them um, and get that sparkle distributed everywhere now i've got a piece of watercolor card here and i've done my stamping of my silhouette my flamingo and my sentiment and i've got a little spritzer one of my spectrum noir spritzes and i'm just going to get this card stock ready to receive sparkle ink by giving it a little mist of water so that's not a saturation it's almost just like a priming a getting ready up for um, and I just give it that small spritz. And then I've got the three colours that I've decided to use from the three different sets. You can see the sparkle starts to settle straight away, which is why I always say, make sure you're always giving it um, a shake and a swirl before you use it, just to make sure that you've got the maximum distribution of your glitter in that pot. And what I'll do is use three small pipettes in these, th in these three jars um, as my makeshift cocktail sticks. And that means that I can just keep giving them a little whirl around and that means the glitter is beautifully distributed, ready for me to use it. Okay, so I've primed my card and now I'm going to use one of my large brushes. I'm sure we've had or got these on the show. These are the, the best brushes to use when it comes to your um, inking techniques, these Royal and Langnickel ones, they are superb quality um, and the sizes that we've given you are exceptional. So now I'm just going to paint this sparkle ink onto my primed watercolour card. Um, and you can see that I'm just using the largest brush and I'm just using straight strokes across the card to get that colour on there. Oh, wonderful. Those brushes, they are on the show today. There's a half inch, uh, a three quarter inch, which is the one that you're using there, Leanne. And there's also a size eight as well. Uh, they are all on the show today for you. Uh, also, is that watercolour card you're using there, Leanne? It is the watercolour card. Uh, wonderful. Using. So we've got a great deal. You can get 45 sheets of the watercolour card today uh, for £7.98 or for $11.88. Uh, sorry. So uh, great value on that. Great value uh, on those brushes too. Brilliant. Now, you see, I'm using my little uh, pipette. And just before I start to use this next colour, I'm giving it a swirl so that I've got maximum. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Maximum sparkle distributed throughout the liquid on my brush. And then I'm just overlapping the purple a little bit. So those two colours start to mix together. Starts to, oh, I mean, it looks like a beautiful horizon, doesn't it? All here already looks like the sun is coming over the um, horizon there as a sunrise or a sunset, depending on what time of day um, it is. And I'm just painting, I cleaned my brush uh, before I went back into that sparkle, just so I could get some of that lovely clean colour happening down here, as you can see there, Joe. And then what I'm going to do, I think actually I want a bit more of that pink. I was just going to start with my yellow, but I think I need a little bit more pink down there. So another little swirl, always swirling, 
just to get it where it needs to be coming down a little bit more there happy with that clean my brush again I'm just using well it was clean water it's now very dirty water but it was just very very clean water before um, and then I've got a piece of kitchen roll and you see I just absorb the dirty water off the brush before I go into the next pot give this a little swirl so this is the yellow so this is going to be my sand and then this is go oh, the colors jaw the colors are absolutely exquisite they really are and They're these beautiful. are uh, i'm right in thinking these are brand new these are the colors that we just launched is that right Leanne? correct absolutely they are so you see i've um, stroked that on there now what i'm going to do what we're going to do is get a little bit of a smaller brush i'm going to use my heat gun in a second and we're going to dry this off um, but i just want to show you how we can stop the palm tree looking like it's floating in the air because at the minute i've got that lovely um sun sunset uh, or sunrise depending on what you want looking like it's happening there but actually those trees look like they're floating in the sky at the minute we could be in the land of the avatars hmm. um, and we just want to ground that a little bit and give it some perspective so to do that i use the smaller brush that comes in with a brush collection and this is your half inch i think yep this is your half inch and then all i do is a little swirl again I'm going to do a little spritz, just a tiny little spritz because I want some water on here. Tiny little spritz. And then I'm touching into my purple sparkle, just a tiny little bit. And then what I do is I come along under here. Maybe it's a little bit more. There we go. Just come along and then come down a little bit in here. And what I do is give... Um, and then you see I'm also kind of coming down a little bit further under where the tree is, see there. And what that does is just give us the impression of land in the background. And then all of a sudden in a shadow from the tree with that lovely sunrise. And then what that does is now bring the flamingo into the foreground. The trees are in the background very definitely. The sun is rising here. Um, or setting depending on what you want we've got the ground now we've got a little shadow from the tree flamingos in the foreground now we can look at adding some color to him so he doesn't look like he's got the land running through his neck okay so the next thing we're going to do is take a detailed brush and then with my detailed brush and my dirty water uh, you might have cleaned your water before now i'm adding uh, quite a bit of water to flamingo here and I'm going to four bleach. I just wanted to just clarify something. It does say on the description yes. on your screen, Leanne, uh, yes. it's three pots of uh, sparklings. It isn't. It's three collections uh, of uh, sparklings. So it's nine pots uh, in total. So don't forget, don't think you're just selecting one. Uh, we are going to send you nine pots. All nine brand new colours uh, are what you'll get. So we'll try and get that changed um, for you. Uh, but yeah, you'll get three packs, in, which is nine pots Intact, which is all of them, all the new ones. It's so lovely to have all of the new release of something, isn't it? Oh gosh, yeah, absolutely, <coughs> it's great. I mean, I love a new colour. I'm, you know, for all of the things that I use, as soon as something that I use a lot, as soon as the range brings out a new colour, I'm there. I'm on the waiting list. I want them in my stash. <laughs> I want to be using them because you know I'm, I've got definite fear of missing out, Joe. Uh, Debbie I, I Robinson. So these were launched, um, Crate and Craft actually got these, I had these a few days before we launched them here in the UK. Okay. And Debbie Robinson was so petrified about missing out on them, she ordered them from Crate and Craft she on didn't. the day they were launched. Oh, yeah. Because she was hilarious. just so worried she wasn't going to get a show with them or that they'd sell out when we launched them. So she just had Bless to get her. them immediately. Oh, <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, you know, Debbie's hilarious. She isn't is she? funny, isn't she? She's brilliant. Now, I'm going to use, now I've got my detailed brush. So you know, I've used three different brushes on this uh, particular little piece of artwork here. Um, and that's because each brush gives you a different type of application. And so you notice I'm just dipping into that lovely pinky colour. I think this is, I'm going to have to remember the name. This is Cotton Candy. And I'm using the Cotton Candy now just to add some detail colour. And you notice when I fall bleach, so I just filled it up with water as you were chatting there Joe, and then blotted it away with a piece of kitchen towel now I'm just adding that color in when I um, full bleached it out it left me with the white colored card underneath that I could then pick up my 
um, pink with my cotton candy and add that in so that the flamingo now doesn't look yellow because I brushed the sand over it the flamingo now has some natural color um, and just to add a little bit of shade in because the light from the sunset sunset or sunrise will be um, casting a little shadow on him and he's pink already I'm going to use a little bit of the purple to do that and just a tiny bit of the purple and then what I do is I put it on clean my brush and then spread that right out so it's just like a little bit of a shadow that he's got rather than a full uh, colouring and you can see that makes him stand out beautifully on there and then we just dry it Joe um, it. and I will get my I think you said drown it for a moment Dr dry it dry it sorry dry, dry it, it. <laughs> uh, it's getting it. very very busy now on this uh, brand new collection uh, that we have for you so remember you're going to get nine uh, of the inks in there so you're going to get the enchanted hues the mystic tones of forest glade as well all three of those brand new collections in there for you and you're getting all the stamps and don't forget you're getting the watercolor card too so it should be 72.90 uh, however in the uk today 63 pounds 85 dollars uh, which is a great saving considering uh, we've only just launched this it would have been uh, the weekend before last week we launched so you're going to be amongst the, far the first crafters uh, to get your hands on them uh, there was also a uh, sparkling uh, colour me happy on friday which was so incredibly busy uh, you can go back and watch that show if you want more inspiration uh, for these inks uh, then you'll be able to use all those techniques on them as well now i've just got my art liners out and i'm sure you may have um, gotten your art liners in the past um, and art liner is fantastic for when you've got a little detailed stamp like this and these are my coloured art liners and you need to do some colouring but you don't want to smudge it all over so what I can do now with my art liner because it's a very fine nib is go over the top um, of that sparkling there you see and because it's a, t a very fine nib I'm able to add the colour detail into his leg and it's much, or it might be a her, I'm not sure, is it the male that's bright pink or the female from flamingos? I don't know. Um, there we go. So I was able to add in the detail with the fine liner there. Now let's get the sparkle detector out, Joe. I've got me to press me little... Craft bit. scene <gasps> investigation. Oh, I can Look, see it already. Can you see it? Oh, hang on, I want to turn it around. Wow. Oh, look at the sparkle on there. It really is brilliant. All of the lights in the studio do interfere with that a lot. You can see that up on the purple now. Look, if I shine it up, maybe is that my... Oh, there we go. That's better. Lighten it up ways rather than down ways. There we go. You can see all of that beautiful sparkle on there. And then all I would do now is take myself a little uh, a white card that I've made and I will just matte and layer some black on there. Then when I pop that on the front... I've now got a beautiful card that I can send out to somebody and they're sparkling. How quick was it to do that? I've done that from beginning to end with you. Um, incredibly easy, incredibly simple and super sparkly. Mm, absolutely. And that's the most important bit. It is super, super sparkly, which is great. Uh, Barbie saying it's so pretty. Rosemary uh, McBride saying I love the sparklings. Good morning from, I'm going to say this wrong, Chincoteague Island in Virginia. I've never heard of that place before. Let me know if I said it. Uh, let me know if I said it correctly, uh, Rosemary. Um, loads of people saying Carol saying good morning from Ohio, Ohio, uh, Carol, uh, and also uh, loads of love for that first demonstration. Melissa asking, no hairy legs on the flamingo today, Leanne. Uh, no hairy legs on the flamingo today. I <laughs> learned my lesson last week with the hairy legs and <laughs> thought, what can I do differently? I know my art liners. But, you know, I like to make those mistakes here for you because then, look, we find a solution and you learn from my mistakes. You're just such a giver, Leanne. You really are. Um, <laughs> just to quickly recap uh, what you're getting included in here again. So remember, uh, three brand new sparklings for you. So in this one just here, uh, you're going to get... Oh, sorry, there you are. In this one just here, you're going to get cotton candy, uh, your teacup and your firefly. That is in the enchanted hues. Uh, the mystic tones... Uh, within this one, uh, you've got the peacock blue, the fig, and the um, peony as well. And then you've got your forest glade, which is this one just here. Now, within the forest glade, uh, you're going to get the um, heart. I tried to, I, I struggled with this the other, the other, the other day, didn't I? 
Hearthside. Hearthside. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, lichen and also your garden green as well. Now, these are all available individually if you want to go for them individually. They're $12.99 or, or $19.95 if you want to get them individually. But remember, in this configuration, they're also coming along uh, with the six brand new stamp sets which were designed to go beautifully uh, with your sparkle ink. So let me just show you some of the things you're going to be able to make when you combine the two together. So you've got uh, a beautiful fairy collection in here, which is going to, it just works so beautifully uh, with your sparklings. You've got the butterflies in here as well. Um, you've also got uh, one with the deers, so you can fussy cut these, you can mask them off. Still do all of those uh, great techniques that you've got. But the six collections in there are, you've got the butterflies, the fairy tale, the mermaids, you have the flamingo, uh, you've also got the unicorn, and you've got the dear friend as well. You're going to get all of that, and we're also going to throw in there as well uh, the 15 sheets of the watercolour card, so you know uh, that you are ready to go uh, whenever you uh, want to. Now, I want to show you some samples of these decorative outlines and take you through them, uh, because they are so, so gorgeous. Now, remember, they are our uh, uh, double discount uh, item as well in this show. Uh, so, originally, today on the show, these were going to be £27.98, but because it's double discount we've taken them even lower so we've given you on the big collection we've given you 30% off and another 30% off uh, and we're giving you an extra 15% off on the individuals as well so I'll take you through them they're in collections of two uh, so this one here is the pretty florals how beautiful is that when it's paper piece back together and this one is coming uh, along with that hummingbird there as well which is just gorgeous uh, the next one we've got for you is uh, a butterfly theme so this one just here is butterfly garden and that is coming alongside uh, dancing butterflies which is this one here now the next one is your um, like um, a sort of a, a bird and floral theme uh, so you've got little birdie here I love how that's been cut out and then used just as an overlay uh, over that die uh, you've also got that one comes along with uh, in full bloom which is this one just here and that's a stained glass window technique that's been done on there again absolutely beautiful and then the last collection is our gorgeous bees uh, and this is this this one just here I love how that's been paper pieced uh, with the mirror board such a beautiful way of using it and that is coming along with our uh, sweet succulent as well which is this one just here so you can see it got that beautiful uh, succulent uh, cacks in there as well double discount on those so it's 30% off anyway we gave you an extra 15% off because it is double discount week however if you go through the big collection we give you 30% and then another 30% off uh, as well you should be paying for this shut the front door 159.92 or 199.50 over today you can see 89.55 111.77 everyone will get free shipping and handling and free postage and packaging uh, on these as well which is fantastic and you can and use uh, your club discount of course in conjunction with them as well getting very very busy across pretty much everything now uh, on the show just gonna see what you guys are saying um, someone saying uh, over here Norma saying uh, <coughs> Norma saying someone told me Leanne shows you how to decorate toilet rolls don't know if that's right lovely day to you both I don't think that's strictly true is it Leanne <laughs> It's not strictly true, but there is a grain of truth in there. There is. Um, what I do is an embossing technique with toilet roll, where I use several layers of it, spritz it with water. You can spritz it with your sparklings as well. Looks incredible. And then with a 3D folder with just slightly damp, not ringing wet because it's an electronic machine, put it through your Junior or your Gemini, and it embosses the pattern in there so it looks sculpted, like beautiful handmade, hand-sculpted, sparkly mulberry paper. It's mm. exceptional. I've done that a couple of times. Yeah, it is amazing. Uh, loads more questions coming in. Uh, hi, Leanne and Joe. This is from Maxine. Uh, I'm at work today, so I have, to go, I have to watch on catch up. I have a question. I received my inks, but I can't seem to get a sparkle on them. Can you tell me what I'm doing wrong? I think you're maybe not swirling enough. So you mm. see, I'm standing here and I'm swirling all of the time I'm talking to you. And I've got a little gadget in each one of the pots of the colours that I'm about to use. And I'm swirling, swirling, swirling. So I think swirl more. I think your glitter is possibly settling at the bottom. And then you're dipping in or using and you're just getting the dye-based liquid that's in there rather than the glitter. So mm. shake the bejesus out of them when you start. <laughs> and then have your cocktail sticks in and constantly swirl. Even if it was only seconds later, um, that you, you know, seconds earlier that you used it and you're going back for another dip. Because that 
microfine glitter is heavier than the liquid that's in there it will keep settling at the bottom and so you do need to keep doing that swirl and then also um, you might be in a in a room that has a flat light a bit like our uh, studios here take them to a window and see if you've got the sparkle there get a little torch our sparkle detector like I've got and when you get out into the natural light when you give it to somebody into a bright room the sparkle will be very very obvious Mm, it really does uh, sparkle beautifully. Uh, thanks for clearing that up, says Norma. Hannah says as well, I forgot to ask, what stamp did Leanne use with the palm trees? It was the flamingo one uh, that is coming in the main collection as well. Right, I'm going to keep diving through all of your questions. Don't forget to send us in uh, pictures. We love receiving those. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, but for now, I'm going to hand you back to Leanne because I know she's got so much more she wants to show us. Yes, so I thought, you know what? I know it's all about the sparkles, but having these fabulous outline dies is brilliant and I thought it might be nice for us just to take a second to have a look at how to cut out one of these fabulous outline dies and so you can see how easy they are to cut out so I've got a piece of our matte black cardstock here I've got my Gemini plates and I am using my metal plate because these are extremely detailed dies so I'm putting my die face down I've then got the rest of my sandwich combination which goes on the top, my top clear plate, and then we're going to run that through the Gemini Junior machine. Uh, I need to let you know already, Leanne, just on the preview alone, 10% uh, of the stock of the big collections uh, has gone. When the big collection goes, we'll still bring you the, uh, the smaller ones, but you won't get that extra discount that you're getting on the big one, and you won't get the free shipping and handling uh, as well. It's a very busy show today, Leanne. It is a busy show, and that's good because we've all been... Um, using our stash all weekend and we're ready to give it a little refresh and try something different i think also with the summer coming up sparkle inks are perfect for that they do have a very summery vibe to them um, and so i love that now i've just took my metal plate off and i've got you might just be able to say you can see that beautiful cut line that i've got there so it has cut very well i'm going to emboss it because you get a much more professional rounded look to your cut if you emboss it even when there isn't a lot of embossing detail on there so i've added my rubber embossing mat in i've took my magnetic out and then i just run it through my gemini junior once more and then we'll be able to have a look at the beautiful iron line that it's cut out so let me just grab that i need longer arms <laughs> there we go we don't sell those here unfortunately we should you look don't. into it you don't yes we should sell longer arms right so you see now that design fell out of the die let me just move that to one side I'm going to shake those little pieces in my bin um, so you can see that there I didn't need to use a porky tool I didn't need to bang that die on the table I didn't need to do anything at all it just came out of its um, out of the die itself all of the little pieces are literally with a little flick look just falling out of there and in seconds I've got a beautiful fine gorgeous cut outline for a card these outline dies are so incredibly usable but they are the perfect partner with your sparkle inks jaw um, and I'm going to show you that so let's put that to one side because we might use him later we might use a flower who knows um, what I've got here is I folded a piece of watercolour cardstock in half and then I cut it in half to make myself a, te a tent fold card. Okay, so folded a full piece in half and then cut it in half on the fold line to make a tent fold like that. And then what I'm going to do is just get a scrap piece of cardstock. This isn't scrap. You will have scrap at home. Please don't waste your good bits of cardstock like I am. It grieves us, but it's all I've got to have. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, and I'm going to use a piece of my repositionable tape. Um, and the reason I'm doing this, I'm just masking the back of the card here because I'm going to add colour directly to the half fold watercolour card. And what I don't want to happen is for the ink to get on the back. Now, that's just because I'm... I don't, as we've discussed many times here on Crafters TV, I don't do well with mess. And I also don't do well with stick mucky finger marks on the back of projects if I can possibly avoid it, which is why I like to mask that off. So that's nice now and clear. I can get as much ink all over this as I want because that's going to be the front of my card is the whole point. Um, 
but I don't want it to get on the back. If you're not bothered about it on the back, if you think it adds to the character of the piece, <laughs> then you don't need to do this um, at all. But if you're like me, then you can. Now, what we're going to do here is we're just going to drop ink onto the front of this. And so I want to get um, a nice priming or moistening of the cardstock. So I've done a nice spritz. So I've got quite a little bit of water on there. And the set I'm using, Joe, is the set that has in Cotton Candy, the blue one whose name I can't see. It might be Teacup. Is the Enchanted Hues the one that you're is uh, it? using here? Thank yeah, you. and it has, uh, yeah, it's Cotton Candy, Teacup, and Firefly are the three colours that are in there. The other two as well, Mystic Tones and Forest Glade, they are both available, all three of them. Uh, available individually if you want to grab those they're all very very busy i need to let you know that the details are on your screen the hummingbird leanne yeah uh, fifth of the stock of the hummingbird has gone it comes along with the pretty florals of course too uh, so very busy on that one at the moment okay i'm using my little pipette so i've been swirling 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 making sure that i've got all of the sparkles swirled and then i've got my little pipette and now i'm just going to oh look i mean oh wow just wow just just wow nothing oh nothing else to say but wow <laughs> it really is fabulous and you don't have to go too far with it because you just want a suggestion so now I'm swirling 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 the yellow color and I'm going to drop in some of the yellow now um, and I'm going to drop a little bit here a little bit here now where the yellow overlaps the blue I'll get a lovely impression of green and it'll start to mix in lovely colors there I'm now going to, and you can keep drying in between actually if you like, if it starts to run away and you want it to stop, you can get your heat gun out. But look what it does, it chases it as well. So you get these, look, look at that. Because it's wet on the page and you're chasing the ink together with your heat gun, it starts to mix the new colours and you can kind of direct it where you want it to go. So you see I'm chasing that blue over here to the yellow um, and I'm just getting beautiful like mixtures of colour. I mean, it looks amazing, doesn't it? It really um, is beautiful. I love this. And also part of the joy of this, the effect of this, is leaving quite a bit of white jaw. Brilliant. Uh, Stacey says, if you make an oopsie, you can do the front and the back. Yes, if you make a whoopsie, you could. I've make, I have made whoopsies a lot in the past, I have to say. I'm known for my whoopsies every now and again. So I'm adding a little bit more water now because I want to put a little bit of this beautiful cotton candy in there because I do love this colour. Um, so this is going to get dropped in here over the top. I like that. Okay, that's oh wrong pot, Leanne. Try not to contaminate and then dry it again. Uh, getting very, very busy on these. Uh, Stacey saying good morning from New York uh, to the lovely Leanne and my handsome Prince Joe. Oh, you Woo! can spell Stacey, you really can. Uh, Leanne, can you put the opaque ink on the cutout and emboss it. I think she means a sparkling, but... No, she means opaque. Oh, she, okay. She's absolutely right. Absolutely, 100% you can. Take your opaque inks or your watermarking, this one, and then use your embossing powders and you get a beautiful enameled outline. Ooh. Or um, if you want to cut it out in white cardstock and use your coloured or pink egg pads and then emboss it, um, then we can. And if you would like to, I can do that in this a uh, couple of hours if you would like to see it of course in this no masterclass it uh, is absolutely right. and that's the great thing about us here at Craft TV you can get involved and uh, yeah we'll do our best to accommodate you we always try to that's looking beautiful Leanne it's looking lovely isn't it now I'm just going to clean it up because what's going to happen is when I take my mask off um, it's going to pick up the little bits of ink underneath so I'm cleaning up just removing my mask so you can see that there I've got um, now a beautifully coloured front with a lovely oh see it leaked underneath so you know if you want to use it as a top or you don't want to use it as a card i would have masked the whole thing so that didn't happen but anyway for speed you get the idea and then what i do is i use one of my dotty tape pens and i'm going to use a flower because i think these colors are more suited to a flower i'm going to use my lovely flower outline that I cut earlier and my dotty tape pen and then what I'm doing is I'm adding a bit of the dotty tape pen for the back on the back of the floral jaw and the dotty tape pen for this is the perfect 
solution because you get that fabulous permanent glue it doesn't come and stick all the way through and then all I need to do is pop my outline on here and effortlessly you've got a beautiful sparkled background card card and you've got that beautiful outline on there as well and then you'll be able to see let's see if we can light it up as in csi style can you see the sparkle oh yeah oh there we go maybe i need to do it like this there we are you really see that can't you there you can see that now i'm just getting used to my new sparkle detector you see joe <laughs> there you go so you can see that beautiful sparkle on there and isn't it lovely so actually when you're putting your colors on there when you're dropping it on you can look at the outline that you're going to use and drop so you see i did the yellows and blues down here greens kind of where the foliage is and then i went with the pinks up here kind of where the petals are it doesn't have to be precise at all but it gives you a lovely impression of where they are and a very easy way of putting little cards together uh, it reads, there's so many great ways of using these. Uh, loads of you saying hello. Uh, Eileen's asking, Leanne, is there anything you can, uh, can you use these inks be used somehow uh, with the foiling, if you really love foiling techniques? Is there anything oh, you can do with them? Oh, absolutely you can. Um, so just make, you know, like I did with the flamingo, or as I did just there with that dropped background, and then just make sure you dry your piece of card thoroughly. So give it a good heat or leave it to dry overnight, if you like. So it needs to be nice and dry. So there's no moisture left in the card so you need to use your heat gun or leave it till it's dry and then just foil it as a regular piece of cardstock with your foil designs and then the contrast between the foil and the glitter looks absolutely gorgeous so yes 100 percent just make sure you let your card dry fully first so that the foil adheres to the cardstock that you've glittered uh, fantastic uh, so great yeah you can use them uh, in so many different ways uh, remember as well uh, the uh, sparklings coming along with all of those stamps as well uh, very very busy though on the outline dies let's run quickly through again what you're getting included in here and the different ways of using them don't forget it's not just the dies you're getting uh, the stamps in here as well so it's going to allow you to make up your own sentiments and they're all sort of suitable or, or in keeping with the uh, style of die they're on there as well loving this one this one here is the uh, pretty florals that you've got uh, that's coming along with a hummingbird now fifth of that one uh, as a two pack has sold out and gone as a duo uh, the next duo you have is the butterfly garden and that is coming along uh, with the dancing butterflies which is this one here then we have uh, the uh, this one is there is a little birdie uh, which is that one there and that is coming along with uh, in full bloom and then the final collection is this one here. Now, this is the um, Beautiful Bees, and that is also coming along uh, with the Sweet Succulent as well. It's double discount, so we're going to give you a 30% discount, but we're giving you an extra 15 on top. And then if you go for them all today uh, in your double discount, uh, we're going to give you uh, 30 plus another 30 as well, which is fantastic. Now, loads of you are commenting away. We love it when you do that uh, over on social media with us. But if you want to uh, watch and also shop at the same time, time and then here is all the details how. Hi I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello ask us some questions and lol with us or you can watch us on youtube simply head to our crafters companion youtube channel got a smart tv you can even airplay directly onto your big screen we're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule so don't forget to check in it's never been easier to have us in your living room it's always fun here at crafters tv so come join us as we create every day Uh, all the details there of how, of course, you can watch and shop at the same time, uh, which is fantastic. Loads of you still commenting. Uh, wait, Carol's saying how much she loves the Bees Outline die. Uh, she's got it and she uses it all the time, uh, which is fantastic. Um, and M Malia in Hawaii is playing with her inks as well and her foil press together. So there you go. You definitely can use those uh, at the same time uh, as well. Um, oh, Sonia's just received her mug and she loves it. Uh, you're more than welcome, uh, Sonia. Right, I just want to recap exactly what's in the deal. Remember this, uh, we launched this deal last Tuesday. It was a brand new launch for us here on Crafters TV. There was a Colour Me Happy um, a liquid ink show that we did on Friday. These three colour packs were not included uh, within that show and the bundles that we 
brought to you on Friday. These are the new release uh, that we're looking at here. And the reason we put these master show classes together is so as that uh, we can use products that we think you guys are gonna own already. If you do wanna get the new inks today, then it's a great time to do so because we have got them on a fabulous deal. You get all three color collection so nine pots in total uh, is what you're getting enchanted hues mystic tones and you're getting forest glade as well so you get all nine pots you're getting six stamp sets in there and you're getting uh, that watercolor cardstock as well uh, 63 pounds or 85 dollars right i'm going to hand you back to leanne because i know that she's got loads uh, that she still wants to share with you so I thought we'd have a look um, at using that B outline because so many of you love the B outline. So we're going to use that. I thought we'd have a look at how we use the, the um, pigment ink pad and the embossing powder. Look at how we emboss that and get a lovely shiny enameled effect. So let's have a look at how to do that now because I'm going to be doing some heat embossing and using my powder. I want to use my Fab Craft Mat, which I do believe is on the show. Um, and you've got a good deal on it. So what I like to do with this when I'm using it with my glass mat is um, you can pop it down. Now this has still got a little bit left on the background from when I used it last. But when you first get it out, if you lie it down like this, it will roll up on your, on your glass mat. What I like to do is just put a tiny little bit of our stick and spray, which is repositionable adhesive, a tiny bit, and it just keeps it still for when I'm working with it, it doesn't slip and slide all around. And if you want to clean it off later, you can always get our stick away on it. Um, and actually, I didn't need to put any more on because when I last had this out last week, there was still a little bit left on the back of there. So you will get several applications. Um, so that's what I've done with our lovely heat mat there. Now we're going to cut out a white stamping card stock, which is 300 GSM. We're going to use our B outline die. So I need my metal plate again, which we used before. I do like to just pop the metal in with these outline dies because they're so detailed. I mean, at home you can try without if you like. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine, but just for speed for us, um, just so I know that I'm confident it's gonna work, I just pop it in there. Um, they are very, very detailed as well, mind these dies. So sometimes very, very detailed dies like that just need an extra little oomph with the metal plate um, okay so running that through to cut so remember just to round off the cut edges and make it look a little bit more professional what I like to do then what's it so I'm taking away my metal you can see how fabulously that is cut there so I'm popping my rubber embossing mat on top um, and I'm taking my magnetic out because I put the rubber in so one in one out is the rule of thumb plate goes back on the top and then that gets run back through the Gemini. Uh, those decorative uh, outline stamp uh, and dies are the B collection or is it the full collection 15% now of that full collection has sold out and gone so getting really really busy uh, for that as we go through this show. Are they going to be great with sparklings Leanne but you're going to be able to do so many other things with these as well aren't you? You really are as we're just about to look at now Joe. so you see that has literally fallen out of the die again and all I've had to do is give that a little tap and a push a tiny little flick look that whole decorative piece is out and ready to be used. These dies are exceptional quality and you have got that amazing um, decorative outline there which just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It looks absolutely beautiful. And the detail, phenomenal, really gorgeous to use. So what I'm going to do now is use, um, because it's yellow, actually I'm just gonna get another color. I'm going for a little walk across the studio. Sorry, uh, bear with, here it is, got it. Um, I just want to use a couple of different colours. I would probably use three different colours um, if I was doing this not on the hoof at home. Um, but since I'm doing it on the hoof for you, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use two colours. So I've got my honey pot, which appropriately goes, and I've got fryer brown. So let's just add in the honey pot first. So I've got my dauber and I'm adding my yellow ink to my frame okay so i'm just daubing it on here um, and you can see i'm doing the whole honeycomb in this fabulous yellow and i've got a piece of white card underneath because it just picks up the 
you know, the excess ink where I've daubed it on and it can go in the bin later. I've got pieces of card like this at home which are completely and utterly scruffy um, and I just use them time and again. So you don't need to keep using a fresh piece of card like I am here. Uh, you know, just keep a couple of pieces for doing your techniques like this at home um, and just keep using them and using them until you really can use them no more. Uh, that's the best way to do it. It's what I like to do. Sorry, get my head out of the way there. Um, right, so you can see I'm just adding it on. So I'm just daubing it on there. And then now I'm going to bring in the fryer brown and just add a little bit of detail and contrast for the little buzzy bees so they stand out a little bit more. Okay, so I've got that on there. That's my yellow. Now I'm going in with my fryer brown. And because this is our opaque pigment, using them with the daubers, it will allow me to blend the two together so I get a nice little ombre happening between the two so I'm going to come down his legs there and he's got his wing I'm going to do the same with these little guys up here it'll be more obvious in a sec when I take it off the background where I've got all of that excess ink here we go fantastic and the final little bee here he looks amazing I love this one this is probably one of my favourites in this collection. In fact, I've got two, no, near three favourites in this collection. Um, I love this B1. The other one that's my favourite, um, and I think I'm probably going to use in a demonstration, is the cactus. I love the cactus because succulents are huge at the moment everywhere, aren't they? Just loved by everybody. So I love the cactus one. Um, and having said that, I adore cactus because if you've seen on my Facebook page, you see sometimes I do share pictures of the cactus I have in my, or cacti I have in my conservatory. And they are huge and I love them. So there we go. That's been all inked up. You can see there that's looking lovely now with our opaque pigment. Now what we're going to do is sprinkle over some clear embossing powder and be generous because you know it's all going back in the pot anyway notice what I did do is turn the card over before I sprinkled the powder on because the opaque pigment ink is sticky um, if I'd left it on the other side where I've been doing the daubing I would have wasted powder because it would have stuck to where I'd been doing the daubing so I did that on purpose okay then this goes back in my pot yes if I'd done it there that all the powder would have stuck to that and would have wasted some and I don't I don't like to waste um, I'm, I think you're all the same as me at home aren't you we're crafty crafters so now because I've got my heat mat down it's brilliant for your ink techniques but it's also a brilliant as a heat resistor so if you're crafting on your desk at home if you're crafting on a dining room table on a table in the living room um, having this mat down will protect your surfaces from heat and from dirt uh, and it's brilliant especially for techniques like this so having one of those mats protects your precious desk from furniture at home yeah yeah absolutely does don't emboss your furniture it doesn't work no. out very well uh 15 98 if you want to get the craft mat you get two of those which is great carol has said over on facebook as well uh, maybe it would be nice to use uh the die cut as a mask or stick it down and then make two cards at the same time which i think is a fabulous idea don't you Leanne? I think we should try it. Why not? Why not indeed? Um, so uh, Nicole is asking, will the outline dies be available individually for purchase? They are available in their individual two sets. I'll run through it uh, again. You can get two uh, of them or you can get all eight of them. So uh, they are there right now on the website, Nicole. So I'm hoping that you can see the gloss and the shine on there. So now this looks like a coloured enamelled cutout. Um, that you've got with those lovely little bees. I'm hoping you can really see that because the shine on it, Joe, is I think your close-up camera might show it better. Um, and I'll throw it at you. Oh, shall we do it this way? <laughs> Here we go. Can you see? Yes. Look at the enamel on there. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, what you could do, that your lovely yellow I used from that on the flamingo card, imagine doing some of that yellow and orange in a sparkle background and then having this 
over the top of it so you've got the gloss of the in fact i'm going to do that while joe's chatting to you we'll come back Ooh. come back and see it i'm going to do it <gasps> um, well robin says bees and sparkle swoon uh, robin also says once you go sparkle you don't go back apparently uh, so that is always good to know uh, loads of you are uh, coming to long uh, long beautiful leanne uh, it says sonia uh, beautiful uh, also says robin loads of you uh, loving all of these demonstrations now uh, it's not just about the master class of course well it is really but there's some extra uh, fabulous deals available for you as well, uh, of course, on a uh, Monday, a Wednesday and a Friday morning, uh, I delve uh, for you into the craft fault. So let's have a look there next. Now, you know with the craft vault, sometimes we give you 50% off and it's very busy and then sometimes uh, we'll do a, <clears throat> excuse me, a buy one, get one free. Uh, but the ones that are always really busy, the ones that really are amazing is when we bring to you uh, our buy one, get two uh, free collections. And that's exactly what we've got. Uh, just here. So we're going to firstly start off uh, with the Sarah's Signature Nautical uh, Collection firstly. So fancy shells is what you're going to have uh, first. So this one here, uh, this is the one you're buying, this is what you're paying for. Uh, now a quarter of the stock has gone. Do you know why a quarter of the stock's gone? Because you buy for this, you pay, you buy for this one. That's a re that's really bad English, isn't it? You buy for this one, uh, you buy this one, and you get two more free. Uh, so you've got here, the, the not any old shell darling the grand shell uh, which cuts that out for you that's actually been uh, heat embossed with clear embossing powder as well uh, it really does give it that gorgeous shine and then you're also going to get the aged rope as well which is this die here so it gives you that die cut and then that die cut will cut out that element there for you now seven pounds 99 to get all three of those unbelievable value or ten dollars uh, 95 if you want to get them even in the craft vault you can still use your club inspired discount so depending on your club inspired status you're getting anywhere from an extra five to twenty percent off uh, these uh, prices that I'm sharing with you here right beautiful butterflies is where we are going next so we're gonna have a look here at this one so let me just grab this let's pop this down for you so this is beautiful butterflies this has been very very popular this now it cuts you three different shapes and sizes of butterfly I'll just show you one of them so you can see that beautiful butterfly uh, on the corner of that project there has been created using that you're never going to have too many butterflies are you let's face it they are the perfect embellishment for so many different things and then what we've got for you are two different flower and dye uh, uh, flower dye and stamp sets here so you've got the uh, primrose which is that one there and that is coming along with the primula which is not just a type of cheese now, uh, I realise. Uh, and this is what it's going to allow you to do. So you see these beautiful floral projects that you've got down here uh, adorning that water can there. That's the kind of things that you're going to be able to achieve with that. $9.99 to get all of, to, to get two stamp die sets and a die set is unbelievable value. Should be $24.97 or $32.85. Today, $9.99 or $12.95 if you want to grab those. 20% of the stock of that one uh, has sold out and gone. Now we're going to move on to uh, our Gemini pop-out dies. Now these are uh, incredible. What these do is it's a concept die and it allows you uh, to cut, uh, making basically the inside of your card as fabulous uh, as the outside of your card. So when you cut this in, this is what you get. But you see how it's like a sort of pop-up card that you used to have as a child. Uh, but for grown-ups, which we love. So you buy that one, you buy Best Wishes, uh, and then what we do is we're going to give you uh, this one here, which is Special Friend. Now, Special Friend enables you to create uh, this lovely uh, message on the inside of your card. Love what someone's done there uh, with all those different colourways too. And you're also going to get Thank You in here as well. Almost a third of the stock of this one's gone, and this is what uh, Thank You is going to cut in there too. I think it is just such a lovely added surprise to have that beautiful um, concept element on the inside of your card, not just on the outside of your cards too. 9.99 or 12.95 if you want to go for those. I'm knocking everything over. You can tell it's Monday, can't you? Uh, we're gonna move on to the expression dies uh, next, which are always busy uh, when we bring them to you because these are, again, they're another stamp die set and the great thing is about them, uh, you've got loads going on in here. They're also great for smaller cards uh, and even um, just like notelets and tags and those kind of things. So this one here that you've got is feel better. So you've got all your different dies, all the dies that you need in there to cut the matte layer as well as cutting the sentiment. 
And then what you've got is the stamp to go in the middle. Now, when you layer them up, this is the kind of thing uh, that you're able to achieve with them, uh, which is brilliant. We've then got as well, uh, congratulations, which is this one just here. And that is looking uh, fantastic. And you can see uh, that's the kind of thing that you're going to be able to achieve uh, with that. Again, over here, I love how the, the stamp die at the, um, the centerpiece element's been used separately. So if you want to use that separately, absolutely you can. This next card I'm going to share with you is one of my all-time favourite cards that I've seen here in my time at Crafters Companion. Look how beautiful this little good luck card is that's been made Let me with that. Let me just pop that down so you can see. But it shows you really how, you know, sometimes uh, less can be more because that's really simple. It's a little bit of glitter card. Uh, and then what you've got as well is that good luck element within there too. Right, so that's that one, $7.99. We bring these to you all the time at $7.99. They're really busy. To get three of them for $7.99, it's unbelievable. Is that, uh, so the price on the next one, uh, two, three pounds, I mean, why are we here? We may as well just go home. We may as well just give it away, Leanne, I think. Like, what's the, really, what's the point? $3.99. I know, how do I manage it? I'm not sure. Um, right, these are three embossing folders. Now, these are the smaller embossing folders. Leanne, right in thinking these will go through your mini, will they, these ones? Um, what size are they? They are... They're the... Yes, the, yes, that looks like three by six to me. Yes, it is three by six. The package look bigger. Yes, they will go through the mini. Fantastic, always good to know. Technique with them. <gasps> oh, we could do that if you want. Maybe, yeah. Should we do it? I might nick a folder off. Oh, Shall I throw it to you? Yes, yeah, throw it. It, we'll throw it, it, it could be a bit sharp. Hang what, on. Frisbee right, that is, okay. Joe. Go on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's come back on. <laughs> what, what you didn't see, what you didn't yep. see was I threw it. <laughs> You weren't on a sports team, were you, pet? No. <laughs> it hit the, we've got tube lighting in the studio. It hit the tube light and the tube light went out. <laughs> it went out. It's come back on again, thankfully. <laughs> no, I was, I, was on the, I was in the rugby team. Can you imagine <laughs> that? <laughs> so this is the kind of thing that it's going to achieve for you here, as you can see. Uh, you've then got, as well, uh, the polka dot hearts, which are these ones just here. Uh, that is what it's going to achieve for you. I love that you can sand that back as well it gives you a really lovely effect when you send it back and this one here is the birthday banner uh, and that's what that gives you wonderful size to go on a card also great uh, as a little tag as well which i think is fantastic uh two three pound ninety three pound ninety nine to get all three of them amazing value uh, for money now don't ask me how i've done this <clears throat> and how hard i had to twist an arm but i've managed to get sparkle pens uh, in uh, the show for you as well and they are so so busy you buy one it's unbelievable isn't it you buy one you get two free these should be 38.97 however um they're 12 pounds i know they're 12 pounds 99 uh, the first one we've got for you is the uh, vintage tea now this has got the biscuit the macaron and the teacup now these would be great to use in conjunction with uh, the sparklings that we have on the show today as well. 40% uh, however of the stock has gone. Uh, you've got the metallics here as well. So in there your onyx black, your spun gold and you've got your um, satellite uh, silver and then also uh, you've got the vintage uh, home in here as well. So you've got Heartside, uh, the Peacock, uh, and the boudoir as well, £12.99 or $16.95 if you want to go for them. Right, that was everything that is in uh, the craft vault today. Let me just grab my phone uh, and see what you guys are saying. Um, oh no, I think the... Um, I think the sparkle pens have sold out. Uh, we'll double check that for you, uh, Stacey. Um, Joe, you break, you buy. I mean, that really is the case. I mean, it is just a tube light. I don't think it would have been quite a whole day's wages, but probably not far off. Um, a nice chuck, Joe. Um, lots of you talking about orders that are on the way that you're excited about uh, receiving. Uh, that happens every day, Joe. You can't blame it on Monday. I think that was me knocking everything over. It does, Anne. You, you are right. I do knock everything over quite quite regularly uh, as well. Uh, the pop-out dies, uh, I think they may have sold out as well. A couple of you trying to get hold of them. Um, Kian says she's got so many packages uh, on the way. She's so excited because she can't quite remember which is in which order which is good and also uh, she's excited because there's a HSM preview yes there is a HSM preview coming up this week on Thursday evening uh, here will be the here uh, with that for you which is fantastic um, and yeah lots of you getting uh, excited about the uh, signature collection which we may or might may or may not be sharing with you 
uh, in the show on Thursday. Lots of very um, uh, exciting stuff. Sonia saying, the craft fault. Joe, you outdid yourself. Y'all, this is unreal. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, Sonia. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of them have gone. I'll double check them. We'll get some fresh stock updates for you. Uh, but we're going to go back to the, the Sparkle Inks, of course. Remember, nine brand new inks. If you manage to go for the Sparkle pens, they would sit beautifully alongside the Sparkle Inks that we have. And you've got the uh, six brand new stamp sets in there. Don't forget, you're getting that watercolour card in there as well. So it really is a fantastic deal. Right, I'm going to hand you back to Leanne because I know she's got loads she still wants to share with you. Right, I've got a couple of things now. Now I feel like it's um, one of those challenge shows where I've got to get as much as I can as possible. Right, so I did the B and I've got the B ready. Um, so he's got that lovely glossy finish on him you can see there. And then while I was doing so he could just go on a card as he is. And that was with the opaque ink pad and then heat embossed. But then while Joe was chatting with you, what I did was just splash a couple of sparkle inks onto a background. Look, you can see, I'm just flashing that at you. Look at the spark. Oh, look at the sparkle on there. Wow. And then this could be stuck over the top, just on the back of a card. And doesn't that look lovely? So then you've got the lovely contrast between the heat embossed glossy panel and your sparkle in the background so yes you absolutely can do that now i've got the folder that uh joe death starred at me what you call them ninja stars that they throw the ninjas you know the ninjas have got them oh, stars uh, oh, what, are they what they call i'm calling it a death star but that's star wars. Oh, i think that's star wars yeah not yeah. the same thing uh but the same thing it's not like a nunchuck no or like a that thing. but a little a little sharp start like i mean they're lethal yeah, they are lethal. Yeah, so anyway, not that I would know, but anyway, Joe used the 3D folder in that style earlier. I did. Yeah, it was marvellous. So now what we're going to do is have a look with the 3D folder, how to do the toilet roll technique. <gasps> Why not? So I've got my spritzes here, um, and I've got a few layers. One, two, three, four, five, six layers of kitchen towel or toilet roll, whatever is your poison, whichever you prefer. And then what I'm going to do is just give each layer a moisten a spritz with water and I'm not saturating it I'm just giving it a little um zhuzh a whoosh, whoosh. rather I'm not like pouring half a tub on it and um, it's just getting a little you know what I mean like a little you can feel it's damp but it's not soaking wet you wouldn't be able to wring it out and it's not losing it's not losing its um form it's not turning to mush does that make sense to everybody so i'm just keep doing that uh, and of course because this is a manual machine i don't need to worry about this as much as when i'm doing it in our electronic machines one of the reasons i make a point of being really clear about not letting it get too wet um when i'm explaining it to you usually is because i'm putting it through the gemini or the junior which is an electronic machine and what you definitely don't want is when you put it through the folder for it to wring it out and for water to drip into your machine that would be dangerous so that's why i'm usually really careful about um telling you how moist to get it but this is a manual machine so it doesn't really matter now i've got that nice and prepared ready i've got my folder ready but I thought the next thing to show you that might be nice, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of water in here, is actually how you can use your sparkle inks to make a little custom spritzer, Joe, um, which is lovely. So I'm just going to pour a little bit more water in my spritzer here. Oh, oh. are you going to do what you th I think you're going to do? I think I might be. Oh. Um, mm, Mirtanez uh, has just become... Uh, a platinum member. Congratulations. Way. Give her a hoot. Have you got your uh, hooter, Joe? Uh, hang on. Oh, hoot. I have. Hang on. I'll get, give you give a special a honk. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Brilliant. Is oh, that I did Watson? it right in my ear. And it is my good ear as well. <laughs> but it might not be for much longer. <laughs> uh, Sally's also saying, Joe, stop being such a tease. You were on your own yesterday and you could have totally dished the gossip about the new collection then. People would have found out. People have been begging to find out about the new signature collection Gosh. for weeks, Which Leanne. Which one is it? It's been... Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Um, it's been a closely, I closely know. guarded secret. Woohoo! Uh, it really has. Um, so, oh, yeah, I can't say too much it's more. It's Oh, I feel like I want to give you a... You gonna... can't. You're okay, not allowed. All right, okay. 
<laughs> no. Uh, so I do believe it will be it's too early for the oh, horn. I trust everyone to, if there was anyone that was going to moan about the horn, who do you think it was? Is it Anne? It was Anne indeed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Ellen, no, not the horn. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Barbie went, oh, hang on, hang on. Barbie went uh, platinum yesterday, oh, so uh, congratulations, uh, Barbie. Uh, <laughs> uh, many more. Um, we get many more platinum members. Anne won't be able to uh, won't be able to tune in any longer. I don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I don't think. Uh, very busy on the sparkling and stamp collection. Remember, you're getting all nine of those brand new colours of the sparklings. You're getting six of the stamp sets. And we're going to throw in uh, that watercolour card as well. So it really is a tremendous deal to get uh, that brand new launch for you. Oh, Leanne, check that out. Isn't that oh. fabulous? Look what I did. I made my own spritzer with sparkle. So this was three quarters full of water, a tiny, like three drops of sparkle in there. Not even, not even the tip of the pipette's worth. It's made of full, look at the depth of colour. And then when it dries, the sparkle sparkle in here you'll see is truly exceptional so you can make you don't have to buy expensive sparkly spritzes anymore just get yourself a couple of packets of our empty spectrum noir ones because the hole in there is the right size for the glitter particles to come out are they and on the show as well up. today leanne if you want to get those are they? Right. yeah so and the sparkle on there is fantastic right so that's what we've done so now i'm going to pop this into my 3d folder close it up and we're going to run it through the mini now um because i've got my six oh no it's going through no problem could have probably had eight layers in there really um, I had, yeah probably oh, you're just could showing have. off now could have, could have to be honest oh <gasps> wow oh my wish look at that look at that look at this look at that no look so this is the embossed side just have a look at there let's go on the close-up so you can see, look at that in terms of um, sculpted, lacy mulberry paper. That's the embossed side. So I put it, I put it in the folder upside down. You'll forgive us. And then, but look, the deboss is just as beautiful with the colour there. Absolutely gorgeous. And the sparkle in it is amazing. To use that now as a little panel on your card where it looks. And actually, there's two things you can do. You can trim it off straight with your scissors if you want. Or if you want it to really look like handmade paper, while it's still damp, just look, shred it off the end like that. And then you get that lovely shredded end on there. So it really does look like a piece of handmade paper. And then when it's dry and you've got it with that sparkle in there, it's truly gorgeous, Joe, it really is. Mm, absolutely beautiful. Uh, as you can see there, loads of you uh, loving it. Loads of you saying you're gonna try it. Uh, try it. Um, people have begun to say that um, Crafters TV has gone down the toilet, but uh, I don't think it has. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, oh, yeah. I think you need oh. to give yourself a hoop jaw for oh, that, really. No, I'm getting in trouble for the hooping. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Barbie's, um, Barbie's cats scatter like cockroaches every time the horn goes off. Uh, so, yeah, it's very divisive, isn't it, uh, isn't the it? horn? It is. um, the Robin says, um, oh, <laughs> good point, Robin. What was it, uh, she says, the water you clean your sparkle brush in has the sparkle in it too. It does. Sparkly water. We need to think of something we can do with sparkly um, water. So what I do, just so everybody Everybody knows what I do with it is actually I take so I love a bit of toilet roll <laughs> because I'll scrumple up my toilet roll and dip it I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you here's the one off earlier right I need a piece of cardstock to put it on otherwise I'm gonna make a mess all over here's another piece of cardstock here so here's the pot that had the sparkle in that's what I cleaned my brushes in earlier I'm just getting my pipette now what you will do because the glitter will sink even though it's your clean water pot Give it a good stir up. And then what I do is I take pieces of kitchen towel or loo roll and I submerge them, Joe. Right. Right. A bit like tea bagging. Like, yes. Um, and then I leave that scrumpled up to dry. And then when it's dry, I open it out flat, it's super sparkly, and I die cut paper flowers and form paper flowers ah, from it. Ah, what a lovely way yes. uh, of using it. Um, Debbie says that is getting to the bottom of the pan, Joe. I think she's on about my uh, humour. I've no idea. 
Uh, I know what you mean. <laughs> right, uh, the Sparkle Link and Stamp Collection, it's really, really busy. I just want to recap everything that you're getting. Here you are. Remember, double discount week is what we are bringing you here this week on Crafters TV. £63, $85 gets you all of it. So remember, you're getting the three new ink collections. In the Enchanted Hues, you're getting Cotton Candy, Teacup and Firefly. In the Majestic, uh, sorry, in the Mystic Tones, you're getting Peacock Blue, Fig and Peony. And then in the Forest Glade, you're getting uh, Heartside, Lichen and Garden and green 20 percent of the stock of this collection uh, has now sold out and gone so you will need to be quick for that right the decorative outlines these are on our double discount so double discount basically is about us bringing you the discounts we were going to bring you this week and then giving you more discount on top so on the duos in the outline dies uh, we've done 30 percent which is what we already planned to do and then what we've done is we've given you an extra 15 percent off so they were going to be 27.98 or 34.93 but you can see we've taken the extra off for you uh, so all of the duos have got the same pricing uh, structure uh, this one here is the uh, this is the hummingbird uh, and the um and hummingbird dies yes the stamps and dies so in that one you're going to get the hummingbird and you're going to get uh, the pretty petal in there as well uh, the next one we've got for you is the butterflies that's the butterfly garden and the dancing butterflies in that one uh, the next one we have for you is uh, a little birdie and in that one you're going to get uh, a little birdie and you're also going to get the in full bloom set as well and the final one is the bee collection in there you've got bee beautiful bees and also sweet succulent as well so you're going to get all of those uh, which is fantastic if you want to get them all together the double discount gets even better because it was meant to be on the duos it was 30 and then an extra 15 on this one it's 30 and an extra 30 percent 25 percent of the stock has gone 89.55 uh, is your price if you're going for those and 111.77 uh, now on that outline die collection because it's over the threshold as well everyone will get free shipping and handling on it which is fantastic so it's a great excuse maybe to bung a few other bits in your basket and also uh, you're gonna get free postage and packaging if you are in the UK right I'm gonna dive back in through these comments uh, whilst I do that uh, I know Leanne's got loads more she'd like to show you so we're going to have a look at the fabulous mermaid I love the mermaid silhouette stamps I think they're gorgeous and our sparkle links again and we're going to make a lovely kind of seascape but actually I've got a top tip for you if you struggle with stamping your silhouette um, your silhouette images sometimes you get little pieces missing now obviously having a stamping platform like mine hugely helpful and they'll be back in stock very soon but sometimes in the manufacturing process with the stamp there's there's the residue left behind before you use them for the first time and so actually what I do is this and it works brilliantly for me and I think it will work for you too so before I stamp it this one's already been used is why she's black so pretend she's just out of the packet um, I use my watermark ink pad okay and so what I do is before I put my finesse waterproof ink on I give it a stamp with my watermark ink pad and what that does is make the surface tacky so that it takes the ink from the finesse so much better um, and you'll get a more sharp and precise solid silhouette stamp when you do that and you can go back and go over a couple of times but you'll see and this is on watercolor card which is textured so that you know that's a little bit more tricky anyway um, and I've just thought you know see this, this is a master class and we've got silhouette stamps in the bundle I just wanted to show you how by adding that layer of watermark on there first gives me that beautiful silhouette straight away and if I hadn't have done that it wouldn't have been as solid or as gorgeous as that on the watercolour card Joe. so your watermark is brilliant for just pre-priming your silhouette stamps um, so you get a better result with them so I'm just going to continue building up this little scene um, I'm going to do some little uh, I was going to say foliage it's not foliage because it's in the sea Weeds. Um, weeds. They're not weeds. 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 <laughs> <laughs> not weeds. I'm going to do some seaweeds. Seaweeds. You can get underwater foliage, can't you? Is that can what you, you call it? well coral would it be coral well, coral maybe like sort of silhouette of, coral thank you joe like a floaty coral yeah you Let's can tell it. we're not uh, i don't even know what the name is of people that do uh under underwater um 
scientific stuff, do you? Yeah, I mean, no, I'm not very good. So my husband is a horticulturist and a boriculturist. And a he boriculturist? A, a is that a really boring horticulturist? <laughs> trees <laughs> um, and he refers to everything by its latin name right um, and so for example in the garden at the weekend uh there was a plant in a pot that i thought looked pretty i went oh what's that he said dianthus i said well what's that you went carnation i said well why didn't you just say carnation in the first place <laughs> but us normal people um you know and then we'll be walking along and he'll go look at that betula pendula <laughs> Like, that sounds like a bad disease pet. You need some penicillin for that. Um, and actually, it's a silver birch tree. Silver. So, and what does he call it? A betula pen... That is the Latin name. A oh. betula pendula. <laughs> That's really funny. Honestly, he, just, uh, he does it all the time. Uh, Anne uh, rightly uh, points out that coral is actually an animal, or animals are not a plant. Good, good oh, point, Anne. Oh, thank you, Anne. No, Anne slept in the knife drawer last night, I think, by the looks of it. She's very sharp today. Uh, <laughs> uh, Joe, any idea when the water reactive ink pad colours are all likely to be back in stock again? Well, Leanne's your person uh, to know when all of them will be back in stock again. Leanne, any ideas? And uh, what are we talking about there? Uh, water reactive ink pads. Some of them um, are sold oh, out. Oh, okay. It's well, we're hoping not too long uh, we have those made in the USA and unfortunately the production was hampered by the situation that the world finds it finds itself in at the moment and so they weren't able to make and send for us the ink pads as quickly as we would have liked but they are back manufacturing um, and Wonderful. so it shouldn't be too long fantastic uh, Barbie says is someone that studies the oceans or under the sea an oceanographer oh I'm are they sure I don't know are they? I don't know I want to say it's a. I want to say it's a phlebotomist, but they take your blood, so it's definitely not one of those. Um, so I've no idea. Me neither. We'll find out. We will. We'll use the power Someone of will the. Let us know. The power of. I mean, if you don't, if you can't Google it these days, it's not. It's not worth. It is an oceanographer. Oh well, maybe she was telling us, not asking us. Marine biologist, maybe that was the other one uh, I was thinking about. Let's not talk about the seahorses today, uh, Leanne. No. Nope. We've got ourselves, we went down a real black hole, didn't we? We uh, did. On Friday. Uh, and, and a what eologist, Delora? Ixiologist. And what do they do? They, oh, they study fish. Uh, and underwater species like oh. coral. Hey, I'm just having a nice time. I mean, look, every day's a school day. Uh, the kids have gone back to school, haven't they? Uh, some of the kids have gone back to school here in the UK uh, today. Or you could have just got them to tune into Crafters TV. I mean, we could have done your homeschooling for you at this rate. Today, <gasps> yes, not so much maybe on, uh, was it Friday? Yeah, on Friday. Don't let them watch Friday's show. It wouldn't have been a good one. No. Um, <laughs> for them to watch. <laughs> <laughs> we did cover a lot of topics. We do. We do. Uh, <laughs> biology was uh, definitely covered. Definitely. Was it biology? Yeah, it would have been biology, wouldn't uh, it? Marine biology. Ma no, but on Friday we covered oh, yes, just we biology. Did. Yes. The circle of life we yes, covered on Friday. Yes, the circle of life we covered. We, went, we all the, went all the way round. We did. <laughs> yes, we did. I forgot. How could I have forgot? Right, so all I've done is take that amazing set of stamps and you see I've just made myself a little... A little arrangement and I really like that and using you'll have watched me all the way using that watermark as a primer for that uh, really does help but I mean it does make a mess of your watermark I have to say so I have two I have one for priming so it doesn't matter if it's dirty and one for the clean work okay so that's why I have two of my watermarks. that's so you Leanne yeah, it really is I know mm. tis, tis me yeah right I, I'm sorry um, <laughs> right so now we're going to paint this and so I need my pipettes again so um got those and we're going to use greens and blues so i'm just giving them a nice little stir um just to get that sparkle swirling again uh and i want because i want really fabulous movement um, of my inks this time i'm going to really wet the card stock to start with so i've got my spritzes again um, your spritzes are essential. I'm sure we've got them on the show, um, but you know, definitely you need your spritzes in your life if you're using your sparklings. They're fantastic because when you brush the water on, sometimes you can get too much. Where a spritzer just gets a nice, light, even coverage, so you can see where you're going to go with your inks. I've got my big brush again, 
um, and we're going to go with the blue so I'm going with this lovely blue I'm giving it a good stir oh I'll bring it in so you can see it hang on here it is there they are lovely and then I'm going with my greens I'll bring them in too there they are see there we are and my lovely gray roots yeah lovely um and so now what I'm going to do I've given this a good stir I've got the sparkle well mixed in I'm just picking it up with my brush you see dipping the brush in and then we're going to just drag it along and you can see what starts to happen can you see how it starts to move down the direction of the card where I had the water and to encourage that a little bit more you can just keep adding a little bit more water if you want to and just drag it down and you see can you see how oh look at that it's fantastic so we'll get the lovely blue on there um, and I don't want to mess around with it too much because I do want it to move down the card I can encourage that did you see what I did directed my spritzer towards the direction I wanted it to go in and I can encourage that look can you see how it's coming down without brush strokes then and then it's mixing it, all around it looks like it looks like she's swimming up through it doesn't it it does it's really it's great um, so, um Anna Marie says uh please can you ask uh, Leanne hmm. uh if there are any plans for crafters companion to bring out their own embossing powders if not uh which embossing powders does uh Leanne recommend um there are plans breaking news breaking news that needs a hoot breaking news breaking news I need my glasses uh, mm. there are plans but I'm not sure because of where we are at the moment and how I yeah. want to have them made I'm not sure how fast um and honestly embossing powders when we do it we'll we'll do it differently as we do everything yeah I'm not going to tell you how we're doing it differently but we will do it differently um but you know regular embossing powder is fine I actually most of the time use Chloe's um okay um or just a regular clear embossing powder from from any of the brands to be honest with you they all pretty much do we usually have some other brands on our website don't we and we I think do. they are sold out at the moment uh, but yeah. we will have um, them back I'm sure yes right so there I've done well, the now you, I don't even know about these but I'm gonna have to try and get some information out of Leanne after the show <laughs> about these <laughs> I'll only tell you if you keep it to yourself well I'm doing all right at the moment yeah, I'm usually, a bit, right moment, I'm usually a bit loose-lipped but I'm all right at the, yes. at the moment it seems got to be careful because he just he just worries about you lot and what we tell me <laughs> tells you I'm like hey whoa what, what are you doing now look <laughs> I'm just leaving that it doesn't that look mystical coming down mm. there really fabulous so now what I'm going to do is the same but you notice I've turned it round to face me now because I want to do the same in the opposite direction with the green for the mermaid so that the weeds look like they're coming up so I'm dipping it in the green and this is from another collection and then we're adding this on here there we go so I'm doing exactly the same as I did with the blue but at the bottom of the card for the green and then I do want them to mix together so what I'm going to do is my directional spritz again which is holding my spritzer on an angle and then spritzing the cardstock because it's wet did you see to push that up and that looks like it, it looks like another weed coming up mm. there doesn't it i mean it looks like it's exploded look weeds. So, i mean honestly i know <laughs> terrible they don't look like weeds but did you see how i managed to move that without a brush so yeah. i didn't get any brush lines in there if you do want to get some brush lines in because you want to add to the the overall effect then you can do that by just keeping your brush on an angle and then adding some little dabs in that brings it up bring it up into here dab 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 and I think that's enough and looks lovely so then you could dry that and in no time at all look what we've been able to create and then when I dry it the sparkle on here Joe is off the chart mm. uh, the other great thing as well about these uh, as people say what I always um, think Leanne is even when you add water they still have so much sparkle Whereas I know a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of products out there on the market, sometimes as soon as you start to dilute them down or water them back, they sort of completely lose uh, that shine. Anna Marie says, woohoo, I've got a secret out. Shut the front door, the back door, jump in on the box and kiss and air kiss the delivery man. Air kiss the delivery man is probably better than <laughs> kissing the milkman because, uh, um, yeah, we can't do that at the moment. Stephen says, loose lips sink ships. They do indeed, Lou, uh, Stephen. I don't know, I've heard that saying many times before. I'm not quite sure where it comes from. Um, and Jan says, oceanographers study larger processes in the ocean, whereas marine biologists would study species. I'm glad we cleared that up. I'm glad we know now we'll be able to get on with our day uh, in, in the knowledge that we 
uh, have finally cleared that up. Every day is a school day, isn't it, Leanne, here at Crafts oh, TV? Oh, we're always learning something. We are. Whenever you and I get chatting, we share all sorts of facts. We really, Fabulous. who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. And if you, uh, if you love it when me and Leanne are here together, if you don't love it when we do shows together, then don't watch tonight's show because it's us again. <laughs> uh, but if you do love it, then we'll be back, won't we, for uh, we Monday will. Makers tonight, Leanne? Oh, we will. Do you know what it is, Joe? We just have the best time, we don't do. we? We just really enjoy each other's company um, and bringing all that lovely, uh, bringing all of this lovely product to you. Now, look, that's dry or almost dry. I'm going to use my sparkle detector. I don't know if I'm doing a good job of it. Can you see it? Fantastic. There we go. Look at the sparkle in there that she's got. It really is gorgeous. I mean, just trust me when I say it is so intensely sparkly. It's amazing. And then it's got all of that beautiful detail in there. And now what I would do is exactly as I did before. Look, I would just mat and layer onto a little white card with a black outline. Look at the difference. Looks random, completely frames it and looks beautiful. Just that little outline and a white card stock. Now you've got something that you can just send to somebody. Takes you seconds to do. And the impact is amazing. Uh, yeah it really is uh, and really great that you can get so much for a great price today as well because remember you're getting all uh, three brand new collections of those sparklings that's going to give you nine brand new pots is it 30 mil in each one of those uh leanne in each one of those pots sorry George. is it 30 mil in yes, each one it of the is. pots uh, yes, that's amazing is. so you're getting loads there when you put them together you're gonna get the enchanted hues you're getting the mystic tones and you're also getting uh, the forest glades included in there as well six brand new stamp sets for you for, uh, as well butterfly meadow in here you've got fairy tale dreams mermaid kisses flamingo paradise is in there you've then got uh, unicorn magic and you've also got dear friend and we're even going to as a little extra bonus pop in 15 sheets of watercolour card for you as well. We do have that on the show in a 45 pack as well if you want to grab that too. Uh, £63 or $85. Don't forget as well, you can use uh, your Club Inspired discount in conjunction uh, with all of the great prices that we bring you here at Crafters TV. If you're new to us and you may be not overly familiar with Club Inspired, then here is Sarah to take you through all the details. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to Silver Membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a Gold Member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly ditchy mag direct into your inbox giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. Uh, just reading some of your comments uh, here as well. Uh, Sonia uh, saying that y'all are so funny. Uh, she truly uh, appreciates us every morning, which is lovely. Um, uh, and she says her coffee, I'm not sure this is scientifically accurate, Sonia, but her coffee tastes better in her Crafters Companion Superfan mug. 
Maybe it does. Does your coffee taste better in your mug? Let me know. I've got one that I use at home, and I must admit, toffee does taste uh, pretty great out of it. So who knows? Maybe it does make it uh, taste better. Uh, I'm not sure we can sell them. That When we sell them, though, I'm not sure we're allowed to you know, make that as a claim. Right, I want to just whiz you back through uh, the outline dies because they're really, really uh, busy. Uh, the first one is um, your favourite, actually, and it's the Pretty uh, Petals, and that's coming along with... Uh, the hummingbird which is this one here so that's the first two now they're available as duos uh in their sort of twos the third of the stock of that one's gone the next one uh, you love is this one just here it is the butterfly garden uh, along with the dancing butterfly very busy there it is double discount don't forget so you're getting 30 percent off and then another 15 percent off on top this one here is your uh, a little birdie and that is coming along with uh, in full bloom so you can get those two together or what you can do is get these two i love these these are your second favorite or are these in the lead now i think these might be just picked uh, the first set and this is uh, a, a beautiful bee which is coming along with sweet succulent now if you love them all and you're thinking well i can't choose joe well you don't need to choose uh, if you don't want to you can get absolutely all of them it's the best way to get the best saving you should be paying 159 pounds for this it should be 199 dollars 60 almost 200 dollars uh, you're paying 89.55 in the UK, 111.77 uh, because remember it is that double discount event that runs all week here um, on Crafters TV. The other thing um, to uh, how much of the stock's gone here? 25, a quarter of the stock of the big collection has gone. Remember as well, because it's over the threshold, everyone will get free postage and packaging or shipping and handling. Uh, you can also use your Club Inspired discount in conjunction with the great deals we bring you too. So remember, so many great reasons uh, to shop with us here at Crafters TV. Uh, I know Leanne's got even more she wants to show you. Anna Marie says her tea definitely tastes better out of her Superfan mug. Um, also, uh, the milk, milkmen are coming back, apparently, uh, is what Anne's letting us know. Because people are saying, well, kiss the milkman, is that a thing? Because I only, you know, I don't have a milkman, haven't had one for 40 years. Well, apparently they are a thing. Have you got a milkman, Leanne? There's one comes in the street. I don't use them. You don't use milkman. No, I, we, I used to when Peter was, um, when Peter was little, because I wanted to get fresh whole milk for him every day. Um, because he had fresh whole milk until he was five. Right. Because uh, that's good, the full fat milk for children when they're grown. So I did have a milkman then, um, but Simon and I, we don't kind of drink enough to warrant, we would waste a lot if the milkman mm. came every day. So unfortunately we don't, but there is a milkman that comes in the street. If I could get the milkman to only deliver like twice a week or once a week, I would absolutely go back to buying local because I think it's important mm. to support local. Uh, we buy from a local butcher and we buy from a local baker. So it would be nice if we could get our milk too. Um, so there is one that comes around nearby us, yes. I was back uh, looking at houses over the weekend uh, in Manchester and um, one of the um, houses I looked at was right opposite an Italian bakery. I mean, I'm not Ooh. sure I can move in there. Can you imagine? Ooh. I'd be, I wouldn't be able to get in the flat. They'd have to grease me up to get me through the front door, I think. I would be, honestly, I'd be the size of a house end if I lived opposite an Italian bakery. Uh, anyway, right, I'm going to hand you back to Leanne. I know she's got loads that she wants to show you. Uh, don't forget, we will be back. Oh, something else before we hand back to Leanne. Sorry, I must uh, mention it because I'm going for a meeting about it in a minute straight after the show. Uh, totally Tiffany has joined the Crafts Companion family. We're going to be bringing you her wonderful products. You guys over in the US will be really familiar uh, with her products. You may have seen her uh, on HSN as well. Uh, we'll be bringing them here to you. Now, if you're in the UK, maybe you won't have been uh, that familiar uh, with her products. However, uh, we will be bringing them to you. We'll be stocking them. So it'll be the first chance maybe in the UK um, you've had to get your hands on them. Uh, so really exciting. Tomorrow night for the launch party, we're launching uh, Tiffany as a brand. Um, and then on uh, the th on Thursday, she'll be joining us uh, a little a bit for the HSM preview. Uh, but also on Friday is when that we'll have um, Tiffany joining us in the studio. Uh, it's not, uh, well, in the studio digitally uh, via the medium uh, of video course. She'll be with us for the craft house. So it's a little bit, I think it's like a, 
It's, a, it's almost totally Tiffany week, isn't it? Uh, so we'll be, uh, you'll have it Tuesday. Uh, you'll be able to see some of the products on Thursday. And again, it will be uh, in the craft house. Don't forget as well, tomorrow, um, there is, um, don't forget that there is Soft Side of Life, of course, as well. Yeah, so your weekly uh, destination needlecraft show uh, will be here with myself and Sarah. So that is definitely something to uh, keep an eye out and to get excited about as well. Right, I'm going to hand you back to Leanne. She's got loads left to show you. Okay, so I thought let's have a look at how we could use the outlines in a little bit of a different way. So I've cut, this is one of my favourite, this is the cactus one. Um, I love cactus. I'm, I will, when I get home today, I'll put a photograph of all of my cactus in the conservatory on my Facebook page so you can see that genuinely I adore cactus. So I've cut this out of watercolour cardstock, Joe, because it's got a really lovely weight to it. And actually we're going to colour this outline. So what I'm going to do is just take, I've been swirling my inks as we've been chatting and I'm going to use the greens so I'm using the set with hearth side in so I've got the greens and the reds and I'm going to color up this uh, lovely outline now I'm just using my detail brush here so a little swirl then dip it in and then what I'm doing is just painting the color onto the outline die so I'm wanting a lovely colored outline uh, rather than just the plain black silhouette so this is a little bit similar to when we did the daubing with the with the ink with the pigment ink pads with the exception that we'll have a lovely sparkle effect on here rather than I'm just going to pull that down so you can see what I'm doing I'm just constantly you can see I'm constantly giving it a little swirl and I can see the glitter whirling around inside the fluid when I do that which just lets me know that when I pick it up um, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous so I'm just painting this around not difficult at all and you can see I've got it on a little bit of scrap card stock as I do it uh, a little swirl uh, Cheryl says uh, she just messaged say that she has almost all um, of to the totally Tiffany storage products so she's really excited uh, to see what is going to come up on the show uh, can't wait to see what you stock from totally Tiffany uh, as soon as I got the email about them joining I went and googled the products and love them uh, yes there'll be loads of totally Tiffany stuff uh, coming your way. I was just going through all of the catalogue just a moment ago, so it's going to be very, very exciting. Um, now, obviously, you're using these uh, sparklings, Leanne, and you've been using sparklings all the way through the show. Pretty much all of the um, techniques that you've shared with us, could we use our other inks for them, like, you know, our metallics, our aqua tints? Were they also work obviously you wouldn't get the sparkle of course uh, of course you can yes all of the techniques I've shown you use with all of the other inks you know if you're doing this with your metallic make sure you cut it out of black cardstock and paint it on to a black cardstock because you'll get more you'll be able to see the metallic more um, this will hap happily work with your aquatins and look gorgeous uh, you just won't have the sparkle in there you'll have a flat result nothing wrong with that um, at all looks gorgeous anyway it just depends whether you want glitter in your design or you don't so I've just cleaned my brush there to get the green off and now I'm swirling my red again I love that I'm gonna have these lovely red flower on my cacti and then I'm adding the red over the design um, and you don't you know the the little bit of waste ink is going on the bottom you don't really need to worry about that at all it's not really wasting it there's not a lot on there um, but, you know, if you wanted to do as that, you know, I'm forgetting with the name of the lady who said it earlier, um, and you want to mask this with some repositionable spray onto another piece of white cardstock, do this and then lift it up, you would have the silhouette, the white mask left underneath. So you might be able to use that for another card. So it might be worth trying that. Who knows? You know, I think it probably a good. We might even try that this show, to be honest, and have a look and see if it works. Why not? Um, I love trying new things and I love ideas as well. I think it's, you know, it's great that we can all, during these shows, this masterclass, is you share your comments with us too uh, about how you like to use things and what you like to do uh, with the inks that you've got at home and the results that you get and why you love them. I think that's great. It's lovely being able to share uh, tips with each other. So I'm just going round, making sure that I've caught everything. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to pick this up now, remove my little bit underneath. Actually, it could be quite a nice little abstract, that, couldn't it? Um, um, and then I can spot a couple of little areas where I've missed a bit. Um, and so I'm just going to whirl my green. There we go. And put that on there. Your craft mat is ideal for this because you can pick up your um, little 
all of your ink will just settle on there and then you can just wipe it up with a little bit of kitchen towel picking up a little bit of the red I'm just filling in the little bits that I've that I've missed when I was doing it on there that I couldn't see and I'm happy with that now so clean my brush dry my brush there we go and then what I've got here is a little aperture card I've made just clean up the mess before I put it down um, a little aperture card I've made so all I did was with our crafters companion ruler and craft knife cut an aperture in the front of this card and stick a piece of acetate on there and now what I could do is just pop this on here with some of our dotty tape pen and then we create a beautiful look at that a beautiful see-through silhouette with the colour all in the right place but you can see through the acetate on the card doesn't that look lovely really really nice so you can do that lovely outline stained glass effect in colour if you want to but if you don't want to do it in colour um, what could you do well I've got another piece of cardstock here surprisingly and I'm going to use the same colours that we used before um, but what I'm going to do so I'm going to use this again um, but it won't be as beautiful once I've used it so do I want to do this or do I want to cut another one should we do it have you seen it you've seen it and it looks gorgeous I think so right if, you, if you're watching it on your iPad screen, screen grab now screenshot it <laughs> and then uh, and then we can it. then we can right, go again good uh, then I can do the next bit Carol Elaine is asking will the kitchen towel uh, trick work with the cut and emboss folders yes yeah it's obviously it'll just emboss the emboss bits and cut out the bits you don't need but leave you with a lovely handmade paper frame or whatever it is yeah actually fantastic. i'd never even thought of that that's a fantastic idea and yes it will brilliant what's that you're using there Leanne? so this is our stick and spray repositionable adhesive um Wonderful. and i'm just doing that because i'm going to mask this down onto a piece of cardstock so i've done that on the reverse I've got my piece of watercolour cardstock here. I mean, we might be able to use this again. Who knows? And so I'm going to stick this down in the centre here. Okay. A down, third of the down. stock, Leanne, of that large collection has sold out and gone. There's a lot of people that sat in their basket at the moment as well. So it's getting very busy as we come towards the end of this show. Okay. So now I'm just going to do a little spritz. And because I didn't dry it, some of this ink might move onto the background. And it is, you can see, but I'm not worried because I'm going to add more ink anyway. So I'm just doing a little spritz there. And then I'm going to use my pipettes. I need to clean a pipette. I'm going to clean this one out so I can use this for the red one. To clean a pipette, actually, just so you can see what I'm doing. I took the pipette, the pipette out of candy floss, filled it up with water in my pot, and then just squirted it out. And it's nice and clean now so now i can use it in the red one so give the red a little swirl because that i ran out of the pet so you see i'm swirling this with a brush i am going to write in sharpie right up my arm cocktail sticks so i can remember them for the next time so now that i'm going to do is just take little drops of ink i don't want a lot and i'm just dropping it in between where i have um what's the word Masked over? Ma that's the word. Thank you, Joe. Thank you very uh, much. If you want to get these sparkle links individually, they are all available individually, uh, of course, or you can get them uh, in the collection uh, with the stamp set or w and with the watercolour card. So it's completely up to you uh, how you get them. Twelve ninety nine or nineteen ninety five if you want to get those individually. Okay, that's enough of the red. That'll do now for now. Okay, so that little pipette can go back down there for later. Now I'm going to do the same with the green. Now. Um, what I would have done before I start dropping this ink on, when I put it on with my stick and spray, I actually would have left it a little bit longer, just so that, because some of this ink, I fear, might be running underneath. So, and, and that's because the cardstock was a little bit damp, uh, the frame was a little bit damp. Right. So it might not have stuck as well as I would have liked. Um, so at home, if you decide you want to do this, make sure that the piece that you cut out that you're using as your mask is nice and dry because then you won't get the the running underneath the mask that I fear I may have a little bit uh, but that's just because I'm you know doing it speed. on the hoof Off on the, the hoof, hoof or on the hoof on the hoof at speed at speed off the hoof uh, absolutely uh, Barbara says on the hoof 
Sorry? Is it on the hoof? I think it's on the on hoof. On the hoof, I think, yeah. yeah. On the hoof. Uh, Barbie says, um, oh, she's got uh, pencils, um, which she's excited about. Uh, lots of people saying that's beautiful. The practice is amazing, uh, Turia says uh, as well. Uh, Barbie's got an issue with some of her pencils. You will have to just email customer services, Barbie. Barbie is uh, uh, the best way um, to do that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, any questions or comments you've got? We've got about 10 minutes left, so now's definitely the time to get them in uh, before the end of this show. And don't forget, any pictures you want to share with us, we love seeing pictures, uh, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Also, don't forget about our brand new show on a Sunday, a uh, Second Chance Sunday. Is there any deals recently uh, that you saw and you'd love to bring them back? Uh, well, Second Chance Sunday is your chance to do that. Email studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. .co.uk, put second chance in the subject line, and then we will uh, do our best to try and bring them back on a Sunday, which is fantastic. So we're getting quite a nice big uh, long list there now. Uh, so uh, definitely let us know if there's anything you want to say. I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like afterwards. I know. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> excited or? Uh, apprehensive. Okay. Right, so this was a little bit too wet when I put it down right oh, so like, you like see it, how it's though. coming to pieces when I tear it off because it, it didn't get dried in between so it was soaking um, but what it does do is give the impression of the colours in the right place right right do you see what I mean now there is yeah. something else I'm going to do that's not just that so you don't have to worry it's not this god awful hot mess that is the <laughs> finished that is the finished result. Please stick with me, folks. Uh, so I'm just making sure that's off there. I'm taking all the bits of card off. Right, now, can you see how, though, now, that outline has come off, but it has kept, like, a suggestion mm. of where everything was. The colours are in the right place. And the intensity of the sparkle, I have to get my sparkle thing out and show you. Because, we look, can you see it? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you look, can really I put that, that up high up here. Look at mm. that. Oh, look, it's poo. Can you see all that sparkle where it's, like, gathered in the reservoirs? You were going to say, say it, go on. Pooled. Pooled. <laughs> I don't know I why you myself. stopped yourself saying it. I stopped myself. Is it because it, what? <laughs> it's such a funny word. I know it pool. is. Pooled. <laughs> uh, <it> pooled. <laughs> and then I've got, so I've got the same cacti cut out in the black. Look, so I've got the same design cut out in my black here. I've got my dotty tape pen. Here we are, dotty tape pen. Just doing the dots on the background. Actually, um, I've just had a marvellous idea. Oh. I know, I surprise myself sometimes. Um, if you cut one of these out on our construction acetate and stick that down, the ink isn't going to go underneath because it's not going to be able to soak through the card. So you Ooh. get the full mask outline. <gasps> need to try that in the future watch this space right so now what i'm doing is just lining this back over kind of where it was doesn't have to be precisely where it was it's just a suggestion of where it was because i just want the colors to pop through uh i need that moving over a little bit there so you see i'm just trying to follow where i can see i had it there we go stick it down with the dotty tape pen and you've got that amazing silhouette with all of those colours in the background. Looks lovely, doesn't it? And you could trim that off. Now, what I could do with that, and what I would love to do, or in fact, what I will do, is mat and layer it onto a piece of black cardstock. You can see that there. That just makes it all pop, doesn't it? The fact that the colours have bled out, it looks fine. It looks like a stained glass window effect. And then, in my little card, which had the uh, window on, I could have that lovely see-through window in there so you can see inside if you want to. So it, lots of different ways you could use it, uh, Joe, really. I think that Ooh. looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I like to do that because it helps you get your colour. When I, can I just pick, I'm going to lean over here and get this one. We did a little similar thing right at the beginning of this morning when we did this one. But I just randomly put the colours on and then stuck the outline on top, which means we don't really have the colours doesn't matter it's still beautiful but the colors don't focus on the color of the design if you want the colors to focus on the color of the design and be in the right places i.e the red on the flowers the green of the cacti putting that little mask down first dropping your color through allows you to do the precise application and look oh look at the sparkle on there absolutely glorious mm. yeah there we go
Um, Barbie was saying she actually likes it without the line laid back over the top. I guess that's oh, up for you. That is up to look. you. You could just leave it as a un, un, unmasked. That doesn't sound right, does it? But um, uh, yeah. Different horses for courses, as they yeah. say, uh, I guess. Choice is yours. Uh, and there's, that just shows you even more uh, different ways uh, of using them. 89.55 if you want to get these uh, in the UK. 111.77 in the US. So you get free shipping and handling in the US. Uh, and you'll get free PMP in the UK as well, which is fantastic. Right, should we whiz through some of the stuff that you've seen today on the show? So first off here, uh, the Sparklinks and the Stamp Collection, £63, $85 to get those three brand new collections of Sparklinks in here. So these were just released in the UK last week. You've got Enchanted Hues, Mystic Tones, and you've also got Forest Glade. Uh, within that as well uh, a third of the stock of that has sold out and gone very busy there uh, do be quick for those right the outline dies are available in duo so i'll give you the details of all the duos remember it is our double discount event so you've got a 30 percent off and then we've given you an extra 15 percent off on the duos the first one you've got is the pretty petals and the majestic hummingbird they come together in one collection which is that one just there then you've got the uh, Butterfly Garden and the Dancing Butterflies. They're going to come in the next collection for you, which is that one there, as you can see. Uh, the next one you've got is a Little Birdie and the In Fl Full Bloom uh, set is the next one here. And then finally, uh, you've got Beautiful Bees and Sweet Succulents are the other one. Now, I know what you guys are like. I know what you super fans are saying. Well, you'll, I want to get them all together. Well, you can. If you want to get all of them, it gets even better as well because uh, we've done your 30% discount and then for the price plus rather than giving you sorry for the double discount rather than giving you an extra 15% we're going to give you an extra 30% that means these should be well they're just a little over half price really uh, 89.55 in the UK they should be 159.92 they should have been 199.60 in the UK they're down to 111.77 uh, which is fabulous uh, value for money it really really is uh, loads of you um, talking uh, about how enjoying your uh, the show today don't forget uh, myself and Dan will be back in the later show as well we're back for uh, your Monday Maker Show. Remember, it's such a jam-packed week here. Uh, again on Crafters TV, tomorrow uh, will be the soft side of life in the morning and then also the, the launch party. We are launching uh, Totally Tiffany here um, on Crafters TV. But I know, Le Leanne, do you fancy just whizzing us through a few different ways of using these to end the show? Yeah, why not? Um, I've got just a handful here of some of my favourite samples using these sparkle inks and these amazing stamps that we've got. I love these stamps because, look, like this, you can create your own story. You can tell your own story, create your own background using that beautiful mermaid, the outline mermaid, because it comes in the collection. Here she is. The outline as well as the silhouette look you, having her come out of the ocean there and have these other mermaids swimming around just absolutely beautiful and then you can see there as i flash like look at that i've got the angle perfect joe look at the sparkle in that background you can just see it catching and shimmering there gorgeous and then look at this explosion now remember when i did the angle squirting with the mermaid to explode the ink out so this is doing it from the center out and so it's pushing the intense colour out in all the directions. Looks gorgeous. Doesn't look like a little explosion behind that fairy. The glitter is amazing. Here we've got the unicorn. And all we did here was some four bleaching for the moon. This is just dragging your brush through exactly as I did for the horizon with the flamingo. But look, if you just want to colour them in, if you just want to make beautiful, bright, vibrant, sparkly, amazing creations with even all of the stamps that you've got at home, or your embossing folders, or a random piece of string, which is what we've used here, then you can do that. The possibilities are endless with these. They're truly gorgeous. The sparkle intensity when you get it home is off the chart. I mean, this one here is so shiny, but the lights interfere with it. Um, you're just going to have an amazing experience with them. And every single one of these different examples that I've just shown you here shows you that they will work with a lot of different styles, a lot of different stamps, and the possibilities are absolutely endless. Uh, they really are. Don't forget as well, all the stamps that you're getting involved, uh, include in, in the, here in this collection. Uh, so you've got the Mermaid Friends, which is one here. You're also going to get the uh, Fairy Tale Dreams. That's included there for you. You've then got the Butterfly Meadow, which is this one here. There is uh, the Flamingo Paradise. You've got Unicorn uh, Magic. 
and then you've also got uh, Dear Friend as well, uh, which is fantastic. So all six of those are come included uh, with the sparklings and you've got as well uh, the watercolour card. Uh, oh, I know Leanne is desperate to share with you just a few uh, samples as well of the uh, decorative outline. So I, I think it's only fair that we, we let her have her way, don't you? Well, there'll be war on if you don't. <laughs> Just saying, um, no, but actually thank you because look, what I wanted to do was show you with these outlines, cut with matte mirror card and then the colour with um, alcohol markers just sprinkled in. Look, a sparkle background with different colours and a white silhouette. More sparkles, it seems I've done the cacti but with the hummingbird, absolutely fabulous. Look at this one with that bird in there and then coloured with your Harmony Water Reactive in the background and the colours, like I did with the opaque ink pad, all over the little frame here we've just got black card and some gilding wax over a beautiful colored background and again a big splash of sparkle background with a gold matte mirror little die cut on there the same with these sparkles here beautiful sparkles with the black frame on front just a little bit of paper piecing so the waste that you would throw away keep and piece it in this these next three are my favorites this one i think is the most beautiful frame and this is done with your illustrators so if you want to color your illustrator background around that back black frame that looks exquisite here's more sparkle exactly as i did the cactus so you can see that there and then here's our honeybee uh, with just a little bit of glitter you watched me do that as well with your pig pigment ink pads just absolutely brilliant and very usable all of them Fantastic. Um, uh, they really are brilliant. I know you guys have absolutely loved them. A lot of you own them already and love them. Loads of you are coming in and getting them today. It's why is it a third of the stock uh, has gone there. So it's very, very busy. We had a very busy show at the start of what is going to be a very, very busy week here on Crafters TV. Uh, seven days a week right now as well. We're with you every single day uh, here on Crafters TV. Right. We need to go and get ourselves set up for that later show. Uh, me and Leanne will be back again, causing havoc, no doubt. Uh, so join the pair of us back here. We'll have some lunch and we'll meet you back here in three hours. How does that sound? Take care.